yeah. It's trailblazer time. Um, yeah, if you're finding that your life is not miserable enough, um, get a trailblazer and do the engine yourself. It's great. Anyway, this particular trailblazer, General Motors had a special policy, number 03019, where O2 trailblazers got engines because they were junk when they were new and then they'd get worn out and uh, eventually grenade. This one sounded very much like a diesel and um, had an interesting, I, I thought it had a knock in the top end but it was a funny sounding knock and when you plugged this PCV hole after 30 seconds <clears throat> the knock would go away. So that was very interesting. And uh, anyway, that's the diagnosis as it's falling apart inside. Um, so this is kind of where we're at now. Uh, the tool that I had that I thought was going to be right to dismantle the water pump and the fan clutch didn't work. So I just took the pump out. I want to keep that pump anyway because it looks like it was put in pretty recently. So headlight, both sides, grill, rad sport, washer fluid jar, yada yada. It's it's gross. It's a lot of dismantling. Fuel lines. Take it and have your AC evacuated because you're gonna take it all apart and then you know bag your ends. Keep everything nice and clean. Uh, drain your front diff. Drain your engine oil and your antifreeze. Drain the transfer case, because in this case I'm going to remove the transfer case, or at least uh, sort of get as much oil out of it as you can. Um, transmission lines will come off as well. There's just like a little door handle clip that holds them on that is pretty straightforward, but have some caps handy so you can cap them off and not make a mess intake on these things is a bear as well so uh, most of the bolts are pretty easy to get at bear with me haul this out of here all you gotta know is uh, there's a couple bolts in the center where one's nice freaking slime envoy trailblazer <sighs> sorry so anyway just there's your bolts you got one then two then one then two yada yada the one at the back is buried way back in there and you'll think god himself could not undo that but if you uh, take your time and you put a wobble on there try to get in there with small tools if you can and they're not that tight and it'll It'll come out for you. So, uh, exhaust bolts are a bear, of course. You want to uh, take them and just just go back and forth, nice and easy. Just sort of crack them one way and then the other, and then tighten them and loosen them and work them free. I got all mine out, and it's a high miler, so I was pretty happy about that. Hit them with some WD. It's always a good thing. <sighs> now, you're going to run into the cross member removal and you'll get three bolts out of the cross member. And the last one, sorry, I need to light. Bear with us as we slither underneath. So, basically, there is on the evaporator it clips in at the back and sorry well I guess it, put, it hooks in at the back and then clips in those two clips there you uh, you take a screwdriver to and uh, pull them away and then your evaporator comes apart and if you don't do that um, it's impossible to get one of the cross member bolts out 
And uh, yeah, so anyway, that's that. Oh, it's a mess. I'm gonna be taking out the transfer case. I don't know whether I have to or not, but my intention is to roll the vehicle away from the uh, engine. So I need it to roll. So uh, you have to remove the axles. And uh, basically what I've done is taken the axles out and just reassembled the wheel and the bearing loosely so that I can roll the chassis away from the engine. I'm just gonna use kind of a hillbilly hoist rigged up. And what else? God, I think that's probably about it for now. It's not fun, but it's doable. Um, these axles, I'm trying to show you here. <laughs> Get yourself a good hammer and a pipe and just strike them here. And you should be able to knock them out. Anyway, I think that's about all I can share. Lovely job. Um, hope it goes well. Best of luck. Um, any questions I can answer, I will. And I hope this helped you. And uh, we'll probably make another one on the reassembly.